Hey everybody, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my craft room today here at Creative Girl Vintage. I've been organizing. January tends to put me in an organizing mode, so I found a few things while shopping my craft room, and I thought I'd put together a little Valentine box for my granddaughter. So today, it's just one of those lazy Sunday afternoons. If you hear background noise, it's my washing machine. It's just, it's just one of those days around here. And, uh, and it's also freezing cold here down the Jersey Shore. And uh, so it's a good time to grab a cup of coffee and maybe the whole bag of cookies and just binge on some YouTube. So if you'd like to hang out with me for a little bit, I'm making a Valentine paper mache box with a little vintage doll. Okay, so I started out with a simple paper mache box. Um, like I said, this is one of those I'm shopping my craft room videos, so I can't even tell you where I got this. It was just a dollar. Um, so it's just one of those things that I've had for a long time. I had a couple of them. So sometimes it's like, you know, you see something like this, it's good to grab it. You may not use it that day or even that year. You know, you, you may use it three years from now and be so grateful when you open the box and you find it. So I used um, just my red chalk paint and I painted the entire box inside and out. And using my sanding block, and I've told you guys this before, this is my sanding block dedicated for red paint because you do not want to sand red paint, then go sand white paint with this. Not good. You will not be happy with the results. So I'm just going to take the sanding block and sand up my heart a little bit. And you can see it's taking on a really nice little vintagey look. Really like that. Just do a little sanding all the way around okay that looks good and we will get this out of the way you can see all the red dust that creates okay so we have our little box and I was trying to decide, I wanted to put a trim on it. I wasn't sure what I wanted to use, but I had this tiny pink rickrack. And since the doll's gonna have a pink dress, I thought this would go along with it well. And I love pink and red together for Valentine's Day. I think that's such a great look. I'm just gonna use my Fabrifix glue and I've just put some in a smaller bottle, just easier to handle. And around the lid, Let's get this started here. We're just going to go all the way around. I really like this, uh, the Fabrifix for this, opposed to hot glue. Hot glue under Rick Rack, it tends to um, tends to just get really globbed up, and it shows. It'll it'll um, squeeze out between the Rick Rack, and and it's um, it's not hidden. So this works really good. This dries really nice. Okay. Scissors, what did I do with you? Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. And then, of course, I wouldn't be me unless I was using my Distress Ink on the top of this box. And uh, of course, it's the uh, Ranger Distress Ink and Tea Dye. A lot of you ask me about um, my applicator. This is the square applicator. I think I got it at Michael's. And um, it's a, a foam pad and there's Velcro under here. So these peel off and you can put a fresh one on if you need to. Now the ones that um, I link to are the round ones and they're the same story. They've got the Velcro and the, um, the, the foam pad. Um, they didn't have, I couldn't find the square ones. So the round ones work just as good. I'm just gonna go over the top of my box my distress ink like so and that gives it a really pretty vintagey look okay all right so to finish our box off let me carefully take my lid off here since my glue is still a little bit dry I mean a little bit wet on that rick rack sticking to my fingers this is um, this is just a little scan of a kitty cat valentine that I had on hand and I thought it would be cute to put in the inside of the box 
That way, when she opens it, she'll see the little kitty cat down there. And then I thought I would also add some Valentine chocolates down in there too. So there's our little box. I'm gonna let that rickrack glue dry. Isn't that cute? All right, now let's move on and decorate our little doll. All right, so I have one of my little flea market finds right here. I actually did this project a couple years ago and sold it in my Etsy shop, and I was surprised to see I had another one of these dolls. And uh, she was probably a quarter in the bottom of a junky box getting ready to be crushed and ending up in the dumpster, so I am always so happy when I'm able to save these precious little dolls, and she's going to look so cute. Um, you know, every year when my granddaughter brings this box out to enjoy her. Now, this right here is actually a piece from an old dress that was my granddaughter's. Um, it was a baby dress. I think it was stained, and my daughter was throwing it out, getting rid of it. She outgrew it, whatever. And I said, whoa, let me have it, because the lace on here was just really good. So I, I salvaged all the lace off there. So Aubrey, this was off your dress when you were a little baby, and we're going we're gonna to put it on this little doll. So Wrapping this around her, obviously, it's just way too long. And this lace at the bottom is just beyond precious. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to shorten this quite a bit so it'll fit around her. But this lace right here, never fear, I am keeping that because that is so good for another project, right? I mean, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Saving that. Okay, so now, look how cute. <laughs> Isn't that just the cutest? Look at that. All right, so using a little hot glue. Whoops, let me get a glue stick. Now, I, I do have people say to me, I cannot believe that you're putting hot glue on that old stuff. And look, I hear you. I, I know what you're saying. I would never take anything that's just highly collectible and valuable and put hot glue on it but some of this little stuff I feel okay about it and like I said it's just saving it from the dumpster but you know whether you're team glue or team not glue it's okay whatever makes you happy all right isn't <laughs> she just adorable now I had a this is a little red felt heart, and I'm pretty sure there was like a little bag of them at the craft store. I, I, I don't know. I've just had these for years, and I've got some pink embroidery thread here, and I'm just stitching around here by just going in and out and making this look, you know, like a little, a little handmade stitched heart. Just gives it a very sweet look. So why I'm sewing this on, I want to tell you guys that my last video that I put out that had the Valentine collage sheet, I, I am, my cup runneth over. I'll put it to you that way. You guys are the most amazing group of crafters and subscribers and human beings. Your, your comments and um, everything is was just so humbling, and I thank you so much. I've just sort of um, got my head above water from filling orders and shipping and putting goodies in your boxes and all that stuff. So I hope you're enjoying um, everything that you got from me last week, and uh, it was definitely sent to you with love. And uh, I, like I said, I'm just I I was just overcome. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. You're really, really a, a, an amazing group. And also, one more thank you. Um, in the mail, this came to me, this little vintage deer Valentine card. It was just in an envelope. I don't know who sent it. If you sent it, please let me know in the comments because that was just so kind of you. And I actually am in love and collect vintage deer and it couldn't be more perfect. Thank you for that. Isn't that sweet? All right. So I just finished up just a couple little stitches here on this heart. Just trim off that excess. And how about the little heart right here? So it's just a little dot of glue. 
I'll just put her little heart right here. And then I had, um, yes, here it is. Pink rose, little pink rose. I mean, what would Valentine's Day be without some roses? Look at that little pink rose right there. Isn't she a cutie? Hmm? All right. Now, I'm just going to bring this lid over. I printed out, I love you this much. Doesn't it look like that's what she's saying? I love you this much. All right. And, um... I'm going to cut these words out. I printed this on some paper that looks like it's been coffee dyed, but it's just kind of like fake, fake coffee dye. But it went through my printer and, and worked really good for this. I love you this much. All right. So that's kind of where we're going with this. A little bit of fabric fix out here, and let's glue this on to the top of our box. I love you. Yes. So, as much as you guys liked my um, download sheet, got something real good coming up in a couple of days. I've, it's another Valentine project, and this time I made a kit. So we'll see what you think about this, but I think you're going to like it. It is um, one of my beautiful scanned images, and we're also going to use vintage playing cards to make this little tag ornament. That That is the kit that's coming up, so that's a little preview, sneak well, actually, not a preview because I'm not going to show it to you. It's a surprise. <laughs> okay, I love you this much. And let's just put her right on top of this box. And I'm just going to do that with hot glue right there on her feet. And I'm going to press her down right there. Oh, she's so sweet. Okay. And then we'll go back over and put our lid back on here. I think our Rick Rack's dried enough. Got her back on the box right there. And what do you guys think? Maybe, I think a little bit of glitter. That's what I'm thinking. A little bit of glitter to finish this off. And we all know my dear granddaughter loves her glitter. Just put a little right here on the top of the box. Be cute. Just a little bit of sparkle. All right. All right, let me clean this up. I think this was a really cute, lazy Sunday afternoon project, don't you? And I think my granddaughter's going to love it too, especially if it's filled with candy. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today, and I hope you found a little bit of inspiration from this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We got good stuff coming. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you soon.